give more returns get more security and more interest on your fixed deposits from sri lanka's largest finance company lonc finance from Demo and I will be talking about corporate lifestyle today for living gets real. Hi dear Rukshi, welcome to Living Gets Real. It's fantastic having you with us in the studio today. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. All right, so today's segment is a little different from the rest of our shows. We're talking about corporate lifestyle. And um, talking about it, we have the first question for you which is how do you in your company demo foster innovation within the company and what role does people play in this process so innovation is a word that is used very in a very loose manner uh, because uh, in order to innovate you need to be an expert so you need to have a culture that encourage innovation so what we do at demo is we foster a culture of innovation through encouraging people to make mistakes and also as i said uh, before uh, you need to be an expert to innovate innovation does not come by accident so you need to provide a lot of uh, guidance and uh, training in order for people to innovate so in order to answer your question what is the the people's role in the process it's all about people right culture is made out of uh, people and how people behave and when i say people it also in, in includes uh, the leaders so how leaders behave what leaders encourage what leaders uh, appreciate that is what gets reinforced so uh, it is all about people and we encourage people to come up with ideas come up with uh, different uh, mechanisms and products uh, to uh, encourage innovation very interesting i love the fact that you said you also encourage people to make mistakes which is something we very rarely hear especially in the corporate environment okay so taking us to the second question um what values do you prioritize in your corporate culture yes um so at times these values can change because values are very intangible right how we see or understand values is through the behavior of someone or people and when we prioritize values it also needs to align with what we are going to achieve by uh, prioritizing certain uh, values so currently there are five values that we prioritize uh, at demo uh, starting from integrity integrity uh, people centricity excellence customer centricity and accountability so i mean it is not about the values what is important is the behavior so we try to align integrity and because we that is a given actually it should not be even a value that we prioritize uh, because it is a given for any any organization for any human being like you know, even if you personally believe in certain values i think integrity comes first right it is a given because that is what builds trust so you know we work with a lot of partners so integrity that like you know in order to uh, uh, achieve trust 
is very important. And of course, people centricity. People centricity is very important to our organization. When we say people, it can be our own uh, staff and also it can be our principals, our customers. Like, you know, we, are we, we want to be uh, the people to be our partner because our, our brand promise is also about uh, partnering, be the best partner. So people centricity is very important. So is excellence. We try to be, uh, we try to excel in everything that we do. And accountability. Uh, we believe in ESG, environment, social and governance. So ESG plays a huge role in, in the organization. So accountability to uh, our stakeholders is very important. So these are few values that we, we prioritize, but it may change with our vision and mission. So talking about people, okay, how does DEMO attract and retain the talent within the organization? So Tanya, if you're asking me about the channels, of course, like, you know, we use the traditional uh, channels as well as the, the, the new channels. So we do uh, attract people through, uh, you know, the universities, we go to universities uh, and uh, we do interviews and through social media and all of that. But actually to answer how we attract people is through the brand that uh, the employer brand that we have created and the employer value proposition that is the promise that we give our employees the employees inside the organization and also uh, our potential uh, candidates that is uh, the EVP of uh, DEMO is um, making work enjoyable and rewarding so this is our promise to uh, the people who are already in and who are out there who aspires to join us so we make uh, this promise a reality at Demos. nice I, I love about what you said about the brand promise and about making work enjoyable and rewarding um, so on that point, how do you identify great leadership? Now with your um, process of taking on your new people uh, and retaining staff, what is your process in identifying great leadership within your team? Within the team, um, of course, like, you know, best way is to understand who are not so great uh, leaders because leadership is not a title. So. Necess manager is not necessarily a leader, right? Leadership is is like an authentic. It is uh, it is not a title. So when certain people show certain traits, like you know, when they have a vision, they have the drive, they help others, uh, and of course, when they have competence and give guidance and when there, when we see that there, there is a uh, there are fo followers we identify them as leaders but it is not it, you see like you know, that is a very subjective way of doing it but at demos uh, in order to identify leaders with the title we have a process so of course like you know we appreciate the performance, uh, we recognize that, but rec uh, performance alone is not enough to become a leader at Demos. Uh, we look at the leadership potential. So when someone shows certain traits, as I mentioned before, together with good performance, they are put through a training program. So we call that uh, the elevate so once they go through this program it is mandatory for anyone to anyone who aspires to become a leader and recognize as a leader to uh, go through this program once they complete that they also have to go through a assessment leadership assessment to be recognized as a leader 
there are different assessments that they have to go through at different levels to become a leader at demo okay so dearoshi going by what you said previously about making work enjoyable and rewarding um could you perhaps share some tips for a healthy work life balance okay in simple terms what i can say is work while you work play while you play <laughs> so that's the best so when we talk about work life balance i mean this is a very subjective what is balance for me is may not be for someone else but what we do at demo is we understand what is important for uh, our staff it's not just work but also their families their friends are important of course we have not gone to the level that Uh, we bring in the pets and all of that i mean i would love to <laughs> right um, but uh, so while recognizing uh, what is important to them so when they need time off uh, to attend to uh, their loved ones and for themselves for their uh, their education and uh, for their health like you know we make sure that those are taken care of in addition we also have a lot of fun events uh, at office and you know, we try to make sure that um, we deliver our brand promise or our employee value proposition making work enjoyable and rewarding so we try to recruit like minded people who um, will uh, fit into the culture and enjoy um, our wins and enjoy every event uh, so we create lot of um, opportunities for people to uh, take part in the like you know uh, what i wanted to say is um, to pursue their interests so say someone is interested in sports there are many events that they can take part in like you know we have our sports meet aurudu utsava then we take part in uh, like you know sima sports day the badminton tournaments are uh, organized so they similarly if someone wants to dance and sing and like you know do whatever that they are good at there are enough opportunities for that as well and of course we uh, place employee health Uh, paramount so we take care of them um i mean we take care of their wellness all together so this is so in certain ways that we try to uh, encourage work life balance for staff interesting very nice okay so we've come to the last question of this segment so ai has become the buzzword these days right in many industries be it the corporate or even the the lifestyle segment So do you think that AI will have an impact on the corporate lifestyle and if so how Definitely if someone is not using AI I think it's time for anyone to use I think AI is everywhere right but also we have to be very careful how we use this I think people who will thrive in organizations in future will be people who would know how to use ai right definitely the culture will change because a lot of repetitive work will go off like you know that will be taken over by machines right when we talk ai also i think we tend to use it in a very very loose manner right a lot of people think everything is ai i mean for some a machine to have intelligence we have to train right so artificial intelligence uh, is what how we train a machine what uh, information is given to the machine so i mean even in uh, hr space we have certain um, you know concerns about using ai so what ai cannot do is uh, take decisions right so as definitely the culture will change the repetitive work will go off uh, 
accuracy will increase so there will be very less uh, mistakes in the workplace and there will be a lot of data there will be like you know and it will make life very uh, easy and work very efficient and we will have lot of time to think and uh, people who know how to use AI and uh, also make decision based on the output which is given by AI will thrive in organizations. I think the competencies that we value high today in the organizations will change. We might need very different uh, competencies in future. So we are actually being very cautious and uh, we are actually observing what's happening. Yeah, I think that's the way to go, right? To observe what's happening out there, implement what is really needed, necessary for um, the corporate lifestyle that we intend to carry on in our organizations. All right, dear Lukshya, so we've come to the end, end of segment one and we'll meet you on the other side if you have a fun little game for you that to kind of break the ice a bit. That's Thank interesting. You. <laughs>
I think I'm good. Ten. So ten. <laughs> Invisibility or super strength? Invisible. Spy on people. <laughs> yeah. But I think super. Yeah. Okay. Super strength. Super strength. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. Is it wrong for a vegetarian to eat animal-shaped cookies? No. Why? Why would it be? Favorite junk food. Burgers. Favorite childhood TV show or movie. Ah, uh, Tom and Jerry. I still watch. <laughs> Same here. <laughs> Who has it easier, men or women? Men for sure. Have you ever worn socks with sandals? No. Why can't we tickle ourselves? Bad. I don't know. <laughs> What does a person need to be happy, according to you? A mindset for sure. Name one of the seven dwarves. They are grumpy. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> Who's more complicated, men or women? Women, I guess. <laughs> How many cups of coffee do you drink per day? Don't drink much coffee. Oh really? Oh wow. <laughs> okay. Can you touch your toes without bending your knees? Of course I can. Wow. Okay. Giving presents or getting presents? Getting presents. Both, but. Mostly getting presents. Okay. What is the place you would most want to travel to that you haven't visited so far? Greece. Are rats cute? Sometimes, but I'm scared of them. What's the most used app on your phone? WhatsApp. What's your next holiday destination? Greece. All right. <laughs> so we've come to the end of segment two. Thank you, dear Rukshu, for taking part in our game, and you were quite honest with your answers. So thank you for that. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you for being on I the show. I had fun. Thank you and for talking about corporate lifestyle at Demo. Um and we wish you and Demo, everyone at Demo all the very best in everything that you plan to do so far. Thank you so much for having me and I had a lot of fun. There you have it. These are my answers to the questions on the game. Be sure to check out Living Instagram and Facebook pages for the latest episode of Living Gets Real. Ciao!